That's right. This is a last name letter box break. And uh, we'll see what happens here as everyone gets their letter randomly. Seven times here. We're going to random each list seven times and stack the list up side by side. All right. Lucky number seven. The first random is finished. Seven times through. Here we go. Lucky number seven. A whole bunch of big names in here. R for Ruth. M for Mays. Let's see who gets which letters. W for Williams. Ted Williams. Derek Jeter is in this. Mike Tyson, Bobby C. Let's go. Let's hit something big. Good luck in the box break. There's a ton of different things to get in here. There's R for Ruth for Craig. Oh, my. Let's go. So I'm going to put this into alphabetical order by the letter here. And uh, so, Chad, you're going to come up to the top of our list I'm going to eliminate this and we're going to have this next to the breaking action. Yes, there is. I, I'm preparing for it already. I know there is. And it's just fun stuff. And if you don't know the rules, if it's multi-letter uh, uh, owners, you want to have the majority. So if it's a triple auto, you want to have two out of three for not to go to random. That's how that works. There's a lot of, of the different things in here that are have multiple players, which would mean multiple letter owners. And it's all about the majority right here. Ownership. The first hit out of the break and in the game sports is. Oh my, look at that. M and G. Montana Griffey, Frank G, you are going to be in a random for this hit. Okay, with Bobby C. Yes, that is terrific. Oh my goodness. So gentlemen, Bobby and Frank, you're in it to win it. It's kind of kind of different. Sometimes I I use the wrong side. <laughs> that was me using the wrong side of the blade for a second. Okay, so I may as well use it on the other side too this thing okay okay so hmm. 
Try not to spoil this hit, but I'm just going to have to show this hit here, too. What is the next hit? Oh, my gosh. One of 25 ringleaders. Paul O'Neill for the Yankees. Nice ringleaders hit. Paul O'Neill. Yes. Okay, so that is letter O. So, Joe, you have a Yankees, Paul O'Neill, my friend. And we know that is going to be coming out of here for Joe. Ringleaders, double relic, red foil. Nice. See, it's it comes away up from the top. Yeah, that's so cool. Um, okay, here we go. The next hit in our box break, by the way, this is number 25. Really nice. That's awesome. King Griffey Jr. hit. We're going to determine the winner of the owner of this hit at the end of the break. We're going to do a random to see who gets that. Ho! Ho! Bye! Would you look at that? Nice! Mm, that is really nice. Congratulations, man. You got a jersey and leaf game used. Mr. Frank G, this is for you, bro. Wow. Wow, that is really, really great. And the next hit we have coming out of our box break is nice Paul O'Neill, Joe. What do we have? Let's look at the back of this thing. We have not looked at the back of it yet. You can see a little bit more detail. Really cool. What is this? Trevor Lawrence. Mm, it's a rookie ticket. Rookie ticket relic, Trevor Lawrence, Kevin G. This is for you, bro. Nice ticket card. Big ticket. Hope. Trevor Lawrence, yes, nice hit. And the next thing we have coming out of here. Oh my, look at all these Yankees. Look at all these Yankees. Well, there's a Red Sox, Ellis Burks. Dave Winfield, this looks like a Padres relic because he that's a Padres. So 
Frank Thomas's White Sox, Bernie Williams. Okay, so I just I saw Cano, Pinstripe, and Bernie Williams and thought Yankees, but this is not just a Yankees hit. There's some Yankees on here. This is a Grand Slam, Slam, Grand Slam, right here. Salami, Grand Salami. <laughs> That's what it is. It's a very nice six-player relic card. And congratulations to somebody. We're going to find out who gets this as well. So let's start up some randoming. I'll come back to this. Uh, let's really quickly we'll determine if this even goes to random. T, W, W. B. B. Yeah, it's going to random. So we'll come back to this in a moment. Let's go back to the Montana and Griffey Jr. And let's start up a random between the two owners. Hope. Good luck. In this thing. That's... That's uh, some really good stuff coming out of this box break. I gotta say that Dan Marino autograph. Just epic here. We'll see what we get for some more hits getting awarded. The Montana and Griffey. Uh, that is going to um, Frank G and Bobby C are in the random for this. Seven times three winners at the top list after seven. Good luck. Let's see what we got. What's it going to be? Seven times through, gentlemen. Lucky number seven. Frank G, you, the luck is with you, Frank. My goodness. So you have got this thing. This is your double relic. Surprise, surprise, man. Congratulations. And our next hit is going to random as well. The final hit in the box break is a Grand Salami. This is six relics of some of the best ever. Grand Slam hits, hitters of all time. So, yeah, we have Bobby C. With the letter T, two W's, and that's Craig. Good luck, Craig and Bobby C, and also two B's and a C. Ivan, a couple times. And letter C is Lewis. All right, let's go, let's go. Here, here it is. Uh, seven times through on the randomizer for the six relic card coming out of Leaf in the game. U Sports. Lucky number seven. Craig F, your name's at the top list. You're going to score this thing. This is your Grand Slam card. It's numbered 18 of 20. Nice going, man. Wow, you've got some great relics here. Oh, would you look at that. Game use memorabilia. Little part of history. 
career grand slams is is what's what's really being measured here and you can see 11 for frank thomas 11 for bernie williams i didn't know ellis burks had that many so career grand slams are measured here and yeah you can see it's it's pretty pretty well done this is a great looking product and stuff that's awesome Fun stuff around here. We've got all kinds of great things going on. That was uh, pretty good, man. Congrats again to some of you guys who came away with some terrific hits in the break of Leaf in the Game Use Sports.